Hey YouTube, Ben Jaehong here. Today I'll be showing you how to run your R710 in split backplane mode. Now, the reason why you would want two separate RAID cards is because if you want to have a NAS and also a hypervisor on the on the same machine, usually you would take, you know, I mean, if you didn't have this extra RAID card, you would take um, the next amount of drives, let's say these two, like how I've done before, um, put them in RAID 0 and present them a single disk to um, FreeNAS. However, when you do this, the smart data, um, the monitoring data, doesn't get passed through correctly. Um, and also, the perk card writes data using a proprietary format, meaning if you want to recover data off of this, you're going to have to find the exact same card and import the array and all that, and it gets really complicated. And also, uh, it has a higher chance of failing. So, the better route is to get a HPA like I have and essentially split the backplane and assign it to um, a set number of disks like these two I have here. Now, as you can see, I have two RAID cards here, a Dell Perk 6i and an LSI 9-11-4i HBA card. In normal configuration, SAS A and SAS B would be both hooked up to the Perk 6i using a SFF8484 to SFF8087 connector. Now what I've done is I bought a SFF8087 to 8087 angled connector and I've hooked it up directly to the LSI 92114 i Now, um, before I bought all this, I took a RAID card that I already had, which has an external um, SAS connector, the Perk H800, and I got a um, SFF8484 to an external SAS connector. And basically, you know, this is a super jank setup, but I hooked it up back here and I got the cable to run all the way to this side. And I've verified that um, SAS A handles the first four drives and SAS B controls the last two drives. So what I did was, you know, I got this HBA card and I passed it through directly to free, uh, free NAS VM so that now FreeNAS has direct access to these two SAS drives over here. By the way, these are two terabyte, two two terabyte Toshiba SAS drives, which I've got off um, eBay, and they seem to work just fine. I threw them into a RAID 1 configuration. They're both mirrored in FreeNAS. And it's been working for like a month now, and it appears to be stable. Now, I will tell you, when you put up the machine, it'll sort of yell at you saying SAS B has been disconnected or misconfigured. Um, but it's not an error that keeps this uh, machine from booting, so it's totally fine. And second, um, the lights on here don't work anymore. Like the status, like it doesn't blink when it's being accessed. It only happens on the last drive for some reason. And yes, I know that is a redundant statement because that's essentially saying uh, network attached storage storage. But it makes sense to me, so I just kept it like that. Um, and the first time you do this, it'll give you an error here as well, the same error, and it'll go, it'll flash orange, but uh, you can just clear it and log, and it stays happy after that. As for file transfer speeds, um, on a gigabit link, I'm able to transfer about 100 megabytes per second with this configuration. Um, this is a 6 gigabyte per second card, and this is also a 6 gigabyte per second hard drive. And they work together very well, and I'm able to get pretty decent speeds on this sort of setup.